which were then attacked with axe and sledgehammer. Only the few installed in remote regions avoided this fate. These now comprise the rare and singular jukeboxes, which are found today. This is one of them. The 1946 Wurlitzer 1015, of which there were 56,000 made. In the meantime, our Amy is nearing completion. The ornaments have been fixed. The famous V sign of the Cadillac is in place. Even the jukebox's glass top has been copied from the luxury vehicle. The mechanical parts are tested in the box, but the electronic parts outside it. The amplifier, for example, is adjusted with the help of a single. And you don't hear Mozart, but Johnny Ray or Guy Mitchell. <laughs> 